I rise in support of the hundreds of thousands of victims of Hurricane Harvey in Houston and Harris County and throughout Texas uh, and call on Congress to immediately pass emergency funding to help victims with this unprecedented disaster. Harvey will not defeat the human spirit. Uh, this supplemental is important to Southeast Texas. Let this vote show that we will vote not for politics, but for people. With people registering for assistance at record rates using their smartphones, going to disasterassistance.gov, or using the FEMA app, FEMA will be out of money in just two or three days if we don't pass this. I urge my colleagues to open their hearts the way so many Americans have and pass this bill. Today in the Congress, there are no Republicans, there are no Democrats. We are all Americans here today, unified in our determination to move swiftly to help all those poor people who have suffered so much as a result of this catastrophic storm. We're all working together to make sure that we get this immediate infusion of cash into the disaster relief fund to help these people who have suffered so much and been displaced so abruptly. I've never been prouder to be an American. I just want to thank you, Mr. Culberson, because of course we're all totally supported, supportive of this aid package, but I remember that you were the only member from the majority in Texas that supported our Sandy package. I don't need to go to that town to help those people. They are Americans, and I will help them at any opportunity I get when they, when they have a storm like this that hits them. And I think it's important we have to point out the hypocrisy. We're, it's not going to stop this funding from going through. We need to point it out. This is a chance to be your brother's keeper. This is a chance for the unity that we express when we're before the cameras to manifest itself in the votes that we cast here in Congress. This is a seminal moment in time. There is no question that this supplemental funding is needed and needed quickly. FEMA could run out of money at any time. Therefore, the enactment of the additional $7.4 billion for the Disaster Relief Fund in this supplemental is critical to help meet FEMA's immediate operational needs. And if there is significant damage from Irma, FEMA will quickly need either an additional reprogramming of money, a second supplemental appropriation, or both. 